Hey, this is Samuel Bade, and you're watching Your Biz. Business news from around the world that you thought wasn't your business, but <laughs> now it is. The iPhone 11 just came out, and man, I am excited to watch other people buy it, because I ain't. <laughs> but it's good for the economy. Okay, I'm sure it's a great phone and gives you just as much cancer as the previous models, but what makes the 11 sweet is its new lower price of $699, which is the same as buying four Samsung Galaxy J3s and a ferret. This is cheap, of course, compared to the $999 price of its predecessor, the X. But when you look more closely, you see that the 11 is actually just the newer version of the iPhone XR, the X's cheaper cousin. Price is $749, so the new model is only cheaper by $50, which barely buys half a ferret. Or for $999, you can get the new iPhone 11 Pro, which actually means the 11 is the 11 amateur. So what the ferret is going on here? This can all be answered with one word. Psychological pricing. Okay, two words. I tricked you. Psychological pricing is a marketing tactic based on the belief that certain prices have psychological impact. Basically numerology for people who want your money. And just like the new iPhone, it comes in a few cool flavors. Let's start with the obvious. Charm pricing. Oh, stop it. As you can see, Apple loves the number nine because it's found in their prices all across the globe. Dollars, euros, even in Mexico, 17,499 pesos? That's not an iPhone. That's an iii iPhone. This is charm pricing because it charms consumers into thinking it's a cheaper price. Just like we charm someone on a first date to think we have less baggage. In his book, Priceless, William Poundstone reported that based off of eight studies, charm prices increased sales by 24%, which sounds like a lot, but I did my own study and it only increased sales by $23.99. Next. Penetration pricing. Mm. This is offering a deliberately low price to gain a bigger market share before ideally raising prices later. But why would Apple do this now? It's not like they're releasing a game-changing 5G iPhone next year. Next, price skimming. This is the tactic of offering a product at a price and lowering its price over time, which Apple does with each version of the iPhone to get as many new users as possible. Just like skimming all the cream out of milk until all you have left is boring non-fat milk, which is Android users like myself. Lastly, anchor pricing. The biggest and rustiest of them all. Anchor pricing is when a company shows you one price as a frame of reference, or anchor, and then reveals a different product that appears like a better deal. Now, anchor pricing is very difficult to explain. Hey, but what are you doing talking smack about the iPhone? I'm sorry, do you want to buy this Apple for $100? No, you bloody idiot, that's ridiculous. Uh, what about this one for $10? Oh, well, yeah, that's much better, and, well, I'm hungry, that's a deal. Is Apple taking advantage of people who don't pay attention to numbers? I mean, the whole reason we get phones is so that we don't have to remember numbers. <laughs> Oi, idiot, $10 is really expensive for an Apple. How about $9.99? Oh yeah, that's much better. Sorry, sorry. Or maybe Apple itself just has a hard time counting. I mean, look at the way they numbered their iPhones. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, X, 11. Where did the 9 go? I'll tell you where it went. Straight into their prices. <laughs> is this a conspiracy or does it make logical sense that Apple didn't want to name a phone after the specific number they associate with cheapness? Joining me is marketing professor Annalisa Fricaro. You'll share your thoughts on this matter? What they're doing at Apple is at best misleading. First, they get your attention with lower than expected prices, then with a clever rebranding. From that point on, it is just a matter of time before consumers give in and buy the product. They follow a very simple yet effective model that is called the IDA in market, attention, interest, desire, and action. Everything they do correspond to a typical marketing mix of a luxury brand, However, the prices all end in nine, just like for the products you would find at the supermarket. What kind of phone is that? Do you want to buy an Apple for $100? I do. Now, am I saying Apple is manipulating our minds? Not at all, okay? You saw the Steve Jobs movie. That guy was not manipulative. I'm just saying, this level of temptation is not what you'd expect from a company whose logo is the original sin. Thank you for watching Your Biz. And now, it's your biz. There is nothing wrong with being an Apple user. We're just helping you be aware of this stuff so you become a smarter consumer. Because the smarter consumers we have out there, the better prices you will have in the future. So basically, we just saved you money. You're welcome.